Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. America, just like Israel, turned away from God and rejected God and has gone over to false gods. And, just like Israel, America will be humbled. America will be shaken to the ground. America is Babylon of the Bible. And as such, America has a special judgment coming. And coming very soon, I might add. Now, Israel was commanded by God to not worship false idols. But Israel did not listen. Israel was commanded to let the land rest every seven years on the Shemitah year and God commanded a year of rest for the land and no crops were to be grown but they did not listen so that is why they were held in captivity in Babylon for 70 years so that the land could rest all of the Shemitah years that were owed to God God gets what is owed to God what do we owe God what well, we, well, we owe God, God will get. And we, America, we owe God a lot. God is about to remove all of our distractions. God is about to remove our money, our banks, our stores, our electricity, our phones, TV, power, internet. God is about to put us in rags, sackcloth, if you will and make us go hungry as in famine also as in a fast that's owed to God and God is about to get what is due to God now the quote unquote Christians say that but I pray I go to church I even pay tithes I'm a good person and I give to my church but nothing happens in fact, everything just keeps getting worse. But are you fasting? Are you getting into your sackcloth and sitting in ashes when you pray? Are you, are you repenting every time you pray? Do you lower yourself before God? Are you humble and sincere? Are you praying only about five minutes instead of praying for hours like we all should? Are you in the Word of God, the King James Bible, or are you in a watered-down version of the Bible that I call fake Bibles? What do you got? What do you think God thinks about your reading fake Bibles and trying to get the Word of God from words that are not even of God? Do you attend an apostate church, which accepts abominations as normal and healthy alternative lifestyles that God calls abominations? Maybe your Bible doesn't call these abominations, but what are they? Now, if God called something an abomination 3,000 years ago, it is still an abomination today. God will not bless you, your gifts, your work, your ties to an apostate church. Satan has infiltrated everything and is now putting abominations in everything, even in our food, our drinks, our medications, our water, the soil. The air everywhere and everything if Satan can do a thing do you think for one minute that Satan will not do the thing do you think that Satan plays by 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 any fair play or, or follows any rules or guidelines and these days God is lifting his hand of protection so Satan takes even more liber liberties than ever Satan has infiltrated all of our established churches. Satan has infiltrated all of our Bibles, except the King James Bible. And who knows for how much longer you will be able to even buy or carry the, the King James Bible in public. 
the King James Bible is a laser beam. Its, it's focus is on sin, rules, laws, commandments, truth, and life, and also death and punishment and the wrath of God. No other book in the world prophesies like that book does. That book tells you what has been and what is to come. Over 3,000 prophecies have been fulfilled to the letter. Uh, over 300 prophecies about the birth, the life, and the death of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, were filled to the T. Now there are about 300 prophecies left to be fulfilled, and those will be fulfilled exactly as written, not figuratively or subjectively, but actually fulfilled exactly as written in the King James Bible. And that is why we started the Azusa Street Mission and Revival, to get back to the real Church of God. We are not here to impress anyone except to follow God and to not follow a fake church or a fake Bible, but follow the one and only true living God and his word found only in the King James Bible. Below you will find a video link to a video that is uh, titled Why We Only Use the King James Bible. I think, I think you really need to see this video and, and see if it opens your eyes like it opened my eyes. And no, no, this is not the only video that's on this subject. There are actually, actually many others. Uh, and there are lots of religions and faiths that are easy to follow, that give you a lot of wiggle room, let's say. But remember just what you are going to church in the first place for, and that is to make heaven your eternal home someday. Now why would you waste your time, effort, and money and still go to hell? Remember Matthew 7, verse 13 and 14. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And, and many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. I once asked my pastor of my church if the passage, if this passage, what God hath, hath joined together, let no man put asunder, was in the Bible, was, was actually in the Bible. And he said that no, it was not in the Bible. Well, it was actually several months later, but I looked it up and I found it twice in the King James Bible. Now I wonder what Bible he was using. It's it found in Matthew 19 and 6, wherefore they are no more, but, no more twain but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. And it's also found in Mark 10 and 9. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Would that not make you wonder what else they are not telling us, or what else they are getting wrong? And this was from an ordained pastor. This is pretty important, a pretty important question, as it will mean our salvation and where we will spend eternity if we get it wrong. These questions are important. They're important to me and they should be important to you. Do you ever wonder why we do not have Azusa Street revivals like the Azusa Street of Los Angeles that started in about 1906? Because there in that place was a poor, one-eyed black man who preached powerful messages and the Holy Spirit fire fell down from heaven. Arms grew back. Missing legs grew back. Missing teeth, missing eyeballs grew back. Where are those revivals today? And at the Azusa Street, the fire department was called so many times for flames, actual flames, that, that the public saw coming out of the roof of that building, that the fire department got to where they would not even respond. They would just tell the callers that, yes, we know, they are having a revival and it's fire from God, not an actual fire. That's what they would tell people on the phone. They called and reported the fire. So my question is, where are those fires today? And the Shekinah glory came down from the Holy Spirit so powerful that it would fill the room with a fog of His presence. Just like the Holy of Holies, the tabernacle in the desert in the time of Moses, where the presence and the power of God was so strong in that place that it was like a fog in the tent 
and you couldn't see across the tent. Where is that place today? Show me a place where the presence of God is so powerful and so thick that it's an actual fog and you cannot see across the room. Show me that place today. That is where what we pray for. And that is and that is that God, the God we serve, we worship, we adore, we fear, and we obey. We serve the one true, the one true living God who can do all things for nothing is impossible for our God to do. The only two things that God cannot do is God cannot lie or fail. Our God is the God of Israel. If those things were possible for Azusa Street, then those same things must be possible for us here today. Several of the original Azusa Street members, and they were talking about these were substantial members, they prophesied that in the last days, Azusa Street miracles would return for the faithful. And this would take place in small independent churches and home churches, small, indescript, out of the way places, but it would return. And this would not be a fake revival like what they had at Asbury, but a real pour outpouring of God upon the faithful, upon the faithful few. I care nothing of this world. This world has nothing to offer. I only care about pleasing God, being faithful to Jesus, being in his word, and not the word of a fake Bible that are not even the words spoke by God. We believe every word of the King James Bible as being the true word of Almighty God. And we believe there is power, authority, truth, life, and inspiration in His Word. But that word can only be found in your King James Bible. And if you need a King James Bible, let me know and I will send you one for free. I remind you that Friday night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, our, our prayer line will be open uh, from 8 until we finish with the last caller. Now that number is 518. 318-7813 and we will pray for you or for a friend or family member live online for you then and there and this is a, this is not recorded and there are there are no commercials remember God gets what is due to God and God's word will not return void and God is no respecter of persons and God will do all his pleasure and that is why we need to be pleasing to God because if you are not, God will. Because if you are pleasing to God, God will open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings so much that your storehouses will not be able to contain them all. But only if you are in the will and grace of God. So my goal, my purpose in being here is to please God with every breath I take, with every step I take, and with every word I utter. And God expects nothing else. We all have a work to do in these last days, so now is the time to get busy in that work. If you are busy in the Lord's work, then God will pour out blessing upon you and your family and your home. Remember, a great shaking is coming, but if you are busy in the Lord, you will not be shaken to the ground, as your knees should already be on the ground, worshiping God, as we all should be. God bless you, and God keep you and your safe in His loving arms just like you told me. And we will see you on the streets of gold. And we will see you there on that day. Every one of you have been a blessing to us and a gift from God to us. And we always give thanks to God for sending you our way. So be sure to subscribe and hit the like button as it helps these videos get more exposure. And I am just the dust of the earth. I'm nobody special and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. And I am God's good. With much love and more grace from above. God bless you and keep you and your safe. It's our prayer. And we love you also very much. God bless you. Amen. We're going home soon. We're going home soon. We're going home soon. We're going home soon. Thank you, Jesus. 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 My blessings number the stars. And I thank you for each and every one of them. I thank you for each and every one of them. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name I pray. Amen.
Even the birds know we're going home soon. Even the birds sing. They know we're going home soon. Praise your holy name. 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 Praise your holy name.